Bugs are not unusual in games, especially not in games as small as PokeMMO. This one, however, generated a large amount of Pokeon, and no one is covering it. This bug, exploit, or missing code, whatever you'd like to call it, was around for a number of days before getting patched, with countless people taking advantage of it, making anywhere from a couple million to 25 million plus per person. So what was it? And how did people take advantage of it? Well, luckily for you, I'm Shadow from Pokemon Investments, and today we're going to talk about that. But, right before we do, please like if you enjoy the video, and subscribe if you want to see more content like this. So, let's get into it. It all began January 23rd, the day the Lunar Event was released. There were tons of things to do. Play the new event, hunt new alphas, hunting tablets, Enjoying the PvP move reworks, and many people did in fact enjoy these activities, but that all changed on. After only 24 hours of the event being live, people were already starting to get Shaman, the new mythical Pokemon that was introduced with this event. Now, Shaman itself works a very interesting way. Once you catch it, you cannot breed it. Therefore, you need to go and get Gracidias to increase its IV. One Gracidia is one IV in any stat you desire. And then there are the nature herbs to change Shaman's nature. Now, Shadow, why is this relevant, you may ask. And that is because I now introduce to you this NPC. In the original game, she gives players a bouquet of Gracidias if you show her Shaman. And in Pokemon Mo, she gives you nine Gracidias if you show her a shaman. All well and good, right? Well, not exactly, because the devs seem to have forgotten that PokeMMO is, well, an MMO. And with that comes a multiplayer aspect. And also... So, you may have noticed that I specifically said she gives you nine flowers if you show her a shaman. I never stated it had to be your shaman that you showed her. So, players were creating alts and rushing through to show her a shaman they traded themselves, and they would get 9 Gracidias every time. This process, process takes anywhere from 20 to 25 minutes each time, which means players were getting almost 27 Gracidias an hour. With one flower being 38k each at the time, that's almost 1 million Pokeon an hour on fresh, brand new accounts. What I'll do now is give y'all a quick rundown on how it was done, as it's patched now. Quick rundown of how they did it. Basically, they just start in, you know, Twinleaf, they talk to their mom, do the storyline, go up to Sand Gem Town, and then head up north. Now we are in Jubilife City. Uh, what you have to do there is collect these, talk to these three clowns or whatever, get your Pokey watch or whatever. Go right down here, and once you are all the way here, you go in here and talk to this hiker, and you get the HM Rock Smash. Now, you head um, east a little bit more into Orbor City, and you defeat the first gym. Once you have the first gym badge, it allows you to Rock Smash, so you head back to Jubilife. Alrighty, once you're back in Jubilife, you just head north, and then you go into this little cave up here. Once you head into the cave, you head up and go east. Once you exit from this cave, you just head north, and then you will get to the next town, which is <clears throat> Floramo Town, and this is where the NPC is. So here you go into the Poke Center, collect your mail, your shaman, shaman, uh, sorry, and then talk to this lady, get your nine flowers, uh, and then mail them back, and uh, continue with the process by deleting your character and restarting over and over and over, until eventually you couldn't delete any more characters uh, for the time being because of a limit they have in place. You then make a alt account and do the same thing. Now, I've said this before, and I will say it again, I do not condone breaking any game rules. Or exploiting any bugs, as it will usually result in a ban or account suspension. Speaking of which, let's talk about the damage. Well, 
I actually contacted a game master on Discord about this, and they asked the staff. And the official number of bans from the result of this were zero bans. They are not actually banning anyone who did this, as it was it wasn't exactly a bug, but more so just something they forgot to code. Which is funny because they've banned people for similar things, but oh well. All in all, this was a very interesting little exploit, and I hope you all learned something from it. If you enjoyed the video, why not share it with a friend who may also enjoy it? You can also like and subscribe, as that helps a ton. And if you want more, here's a playlist to my ongoing Flipping From Nothing to a Golden Dragon Mask series, which I highly recommend as everyone seems to love it. And by the way, thank you all so much for the kind messages about the series. I love you all, and have a great day everyone.